Joining me now is the author and Time Magazine political columnist Joe Klein. Joe, the uh, 11th commandment was first revealed in your magazine, Time Magazine. What's happened to it? Well, this ain't your father's Republican <laughs> Party. Ain't. I mean, you know, when, it, when a party goes as far to one end of the ideological spectrum as the Republicans have gotten, you know, purity tests abound. And so uh, you're, you're, you're seeing a lot of that now. And, you know, it, you know they're not going to get Robespierre as a candidate this year. They're going to get someone who is trying to pretend to be Robespierre, uh, as Mitt Romney has been trying to do for many years. Uh, or they're going to get someone like Michelle Bachman or Sarah Palin at the other end of the spectrum who... Um, may be more acceptable to the, uh, you know, to, to the firing squad leaders, but, uh, but aren't going to get many votes. It's, get, it's getting really nasty. My, Mike Murphy, Republican strategist, firing off angry tweets to the Wall Street Journal editorial board because they're attacking uh, Mitt Romney. But might there be some wisdom in this? I mean, if Romney is a flawed candidate with all of these flip-flops, if he's the guy who uh, brought the individual mandate to health care in America, uh, are they, aren't they right to be trying to get him out of the way so that they can send a nominee who can actually campaign against what Barack Obama has done. Well, sure, if they don't want to win. I mean, that's exactly what you should do. You should be absolutely pure. But the fact is that Mitt Romney's universal health care plan, which is, an, you know, a carbon copy of Barack Obama's, is Obama's working. Obama's is the copy of his. His yes, was the original. Right. right. Yeah. It's, it's working, yeah. you know. Um, and can I just point out, in all this talk of what happened last night in New York 26, Please. that it was a victory for socialism. Oh, you have the floor, <laughs> sir. I mean, yes. you know, for the last two <laughs> years, the was. Republicans have been lambasting Barack Obama, who is right in the middle of the political spectrum, a mild liberal, as being a wild-eyed socialist. Well, there ain't anything that he has proposed that is purely socialistic as our Medicare program, mm -hmm. a single-payer program run by the government. And the folks love it. And the conservative Republican voter in that district is saying, don't touch my Medicare. And they know, they know what they were doing. I mean, when, you, when you read those exit conversations where they're saying, I never voted for a Democrat before, they, I mean, they know exactly what they were choosing. See, so when you get a party making the kind of leap that the Republicans have made over the last few years, I mean, a few years ago, Newt Gingrich, Tim Pawlenty, and, all, and a lot of the others were in favor of cap and trade. When you have to go so far to the extreme, it opens the door for all kinds of weirdos to take pot shots at the people who are the res more responsible politicians. It's going to be hard to get a Republican nominee who won't have some flip-flop <laughs> in his background here somewhere. It's usually hard to get any right. nominee who does. Joe Klein, thank you very much for joining and, and pointing out the great victory for socialism last night in New York's 26th <laughs> Congressional District. Thanks, Joe. Coming up. An